Hi, this is saying Today I would like to share the proof of the variance of a binomial distribution equal to NPQ. Given that the random variable x follow a binomial distribution with parameters x, n, and p, okay, we will make use of the binomial factor that we learned in the previous video. So, we know that the variance is actually the second central moment. So meaning to say, we have to first obtain the second moment. So e x square is the fitted average of all these possible number square. So x square times the probability density function and choose x, p x q and minus x. So here, x equal to zero. Any number times zero is zero, so we can omit. So we have x equal to one to n. x square is x times x, so times n choose x, p x q n minus x. So we mix make you of the binomial factor. So then we have x equal to one to n x times n n minus 1, choose x minus 1. So p, okay, to follow this part, x minus 1, I need to take out 1 p, so left x minus 1. Same to q, n minus 1, minus x minus 1. So minus 1, minus, minus, plus 1, we get back n minus 1. So the one that not involved in x, so is constant, so we factorize out, so n and p take out so we left okay then we do some simplification here we just let okay m minus 1 be k so k equal to m minus 1 and x minus 1 be j so j equal to x minus 1 so when x equal to 1 1 minus 1 is 0 so j equal to 0 okay then n n is equal to k plus 1. However, as we can see here, m minus 1 is k. Okay, k is the maximum number. So it means that the maximum we can go is k. Okay, k plus 1 is undefined. So x, x is equal to j plus 1. Okay, x minus 1, j. So it means that k should j. Then we have p, j, q, k minus j. Okay, then we expand this part. So we have n p times j. So total j equal to 0 to k. j times k choose j. Then p j q k minus j. Then we plus 1 times. So plus n p total j equal to 0 to k okay times 1 k choose j p j q k minus j as we can see this is the total of the probability density function so we will have 1 in this part so it means that we left only n p so it means that the second moment is equal to n p Okay, j equal to 0, 0 times any number is 0. So we can omit, we start from j equal to 1 to k, j, k, choose j, then p, j, q, k minus j plus n, p times 1, so n, p here. Then we have, okay, same thing for this part, we use the binomial factor, so we have np total j equal to 1 to k k times k minus 1 j minus 1 so to have the same pattern same thing p times p j minus 1 then times q k minus 1 minus j minus 1 so the whole thing plus np so we have okay k is constant so we take out so np times k k is equal to m minus 1 
so m minus 1 then p is constant also we take out p so we have total j equal to 1 to k k minus 1 j minus 1 times p j minus 1 q k j minus 1 minus j minus 1 then we plus n p so we have okay then we have to do some simplification here so we let okay m b k minus 1 and i b j minus 1 so we have the total when i when j equal to 1 1 minus 1 is 0 j so means that i equal to 0 2 the same idea here to m okay because the maximum can be is m m choose i then p i q m minus i then the whole thing plus p q so as we can see this is the probability density function the total probability density function which is equal to one so it means that we left only n p times m minus one times p so it means that n p square times m minus one so m p square times n is n p the whole thing square minus m p square so n p square plus n p so we do some simplification here so n p square okay this one we can rearrange the sequence so plus n p minus n p the whole thing square so n p square plus we factorize n p so factorize n p left one minus factorize n p left p so meaning to say we will have n p the whole thing square plus n p one minus p is q okay then we back to this part okay so the second central moment so we have n p square plus n p q then we know that the mean of the binomial distribution is n p so it means that the n p minus n p the whole thing square so meaning to say we just cancel okay the same thing then we we'll left only n p q then we prove okay that's all for today thanks for watching hope you like this see you